Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. I'm so happy to have you here. We're going to be doing some butterfly DIYs. Doesn't that sound fun? Let's get out of this snow and into some spring and summer. All right, let's get crafty. I started out with this canvas from the Dollar Tree and some light blue, this is pool um, Waverly chalk paint. And what I'm going to do to give this a little bit of texture is I'm going to add some white sand that's also from the Dollar Tree. This will give it a neat texture to add to the canvas. I haven't used a canvas in such a long time. I just thought this might be something fun and different. All right, so I just mixed that all up and now I'm just going to paint that on. You may need to add a little bit more sand or add a little bit more paint. Just play with it. It's your project, have fun with it. So I'm kind of shoveling this on and I just kept going, added in a little bit more paint and just played with it until I was happy with it. Once it dried, this is what it looked like. Kind of looks like stucco, doesn't it? Kind of a neat texture. Okay, back when I got my Timu order, I got these beautiful butterflies. And they might be pretty just right on here, but I wanted to get a little more crafty than that. So what I'm going to do is trace them. So just going around these. Um, in the package, there's three or four sizes, and I went with just two different sizes. So now I'm taking some spackle. And this one, you can get spackle at the Dollar Tree, but I like the fast and final that you can get at your hardware store. Dollar Tree used to carry that. It's just, it's a brighter white, but if you get the one from the Dollar Tree, just add a little bit of white paint. I'm mixing in a little bit of water just to thin this down a bit. It's starting to get just a little bit dry. I might not have closed it all the way. I'm going to tell you, you could probably skip this step. Now, the reason why I say that is because after I go in and outline the body of the, of the butterfly and then outline the wings, I later did decide, well, when I fill in the wings, you just can't see it as well, but I did want to show you kind of how to do it because after you fill in the wings like this, it kind of loses that lift. So what I would suggest is go ahead and do the wings and then come back and do your outline. Um, you know, just spread your spackle out to your outline that you've drawn on. And I think that'll be fine. I came back in with a paintbrush and added, you know, just a little bit of water here and there. You're just playing with it. This is going to be kind of your paint. So you'll be want to watch your brush strokes because however your brush strokes are, that's what you'll see in your butterfly. So I kind of tapered my brush strokes into towards the body of the butterfly at an angle. Just kind of continued that until I was happy. Then you can come back in. Like I said, I just put that spackling in a baggie and clipped the corner. And that's how you can do the body. Then I thought, oh, let me give it another shade. I thought maybe my peacock, but that was going to be too dark. This is another cream of coat um, color. I thought I might mix a little bit of peacock in. I didn't end up. So I'm going to kind of dry brush that on just a little bit over this. It might have been cute with a pink. I don't know. Would you have just left it alone? Let me know what you do with yours. I just think this is a cute, fun little pop of spring. But this could be used, you know, you could make flowers. Your imagination is the only limit. In 
it's the first of the month, so I love to collab with these wonderful ladies at the first of the month. There'll be a playlist below, as well as links to these talented ladies. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I think you'll truly enjoy them. So don't forget to hit that link, and that'll take you from one video to the next. Have you seen those flying little butterflies that, that come out of the boxes and scare people just a little bit? They're just kind of fun. They fly. I was going to attempt, well, I did attempt to make my own. And I did go on YouTube and take a look around and there were so many different ways to do it. I decided to go with a paper clip. And you straighten that out and then in the bend of it, just put your rubber band and then clip it. I do end up coming back though. Again, I'm you guys, I'm showing you my mistakes. That's just the way I go as I learn. I'm going to tell you the easiest ways to do it. So don't worry about putting it quite on there. Oh, bend the end of your safety pin at a 45 or at 90 degree angle. Now, we need to try and get this rubber band on there, and I found the easiest way to do it is do a slip knot, slide it up through that hole at the top of your safety pin. Now, we're going to feed that through that hole that we bent up, and if once we get that through, then we're going to put it on the wire. It just made it so much easier to do it this way. All right, I'm working on getting that back through that hole. It took me a moment to find the best way, and I just pushed it up in there with a little piece of wire, and now I pulled it through. I'm going to slide this back on the paper clip. I've also seen it done with hairpins, so you could also do that. Originally, I thought I was going to use my stamp set that came from the Dollar Tree, but that was going to be too small. So I did use those wings and flipped them over to just make a set for the top that are kind of a little bit monarch butterfly-ish, but not quite. So just cut those out. And those are going to be up on the top wires. And then we need to make a little bit of a shape down for the bottom wires. Now, when I played and made a few more of these for cards for friends and family, now I'm just drawing my lines on there. I did make the center that attaches to the paper clip and the safety pin just a little bit longer so that you can fold it over and maybe even add a little bit of hot glue to make it secure. So just decorate these any way you'd like. I did some in like a turquoise. I, I've i made several of them now. So I think that they're just something fun when you send a, a card in the mail. It's just always fun to get things like that. Now I'm just using a piece of scotch tape and I will just tape that around. You could also, when you make it longer, use some double-sided tape. And you just want your rubber band to not be too long. I played around with several different sizes. Um, I did find, you know, when I made some later, that some of those goody hair ones that are just a little bit thicker um and a little bit longer those did work well also doubling them over when you do that slip knot so that's one way of doing it all right just getting this fully attached you do want to make sure one thing that i found with making all of these is make sure those wires are bent out further it tends to fly better when those top wings are extended out further in a bigger V. All right, taped the bottom ones down. It might be cute to make this like a dragonfly or something like that too. That could be really cute. And if you know how to make those collapsible boxes, 
it would be fun to make a bunch of different colored ones that come flying out as they lift the lid off. You can find those examples on Pinterest. All right, we're gonna wind it up. Now place it in the card, and this is it. Ready? Woohoo! Flew right off. I used a dry erase board that also came from one of those boxes, so gosh, I got a whole bunch of stuff in there, but I'll figure it at $5. It retailed for $19.99. I cut out butterflies with my Cricut. You could choose whatever size you want. I used one that was in their free access and I made them two inches and an inch and a half. Now I'm just tracing around a bowl with a dry erase marker because this is a pretty framed dry erase board. Oh, it's so heavy and pretty. So I will make this one for my niece. Then when she outgrows this, since I'm using a low temp glue gun, they can just pull these off and she has a beautiful dry erase board. I'm showing you here that you just want to crease these butterflies on each side of the body of the butterfly. If you had butterfly paper punches, that would be another way to do it. You could also get the pattern offline and just hand cut these out. So first I placed them by hand to make sure how I wanted to lay them out. Now I'm going back with my low temp glue gun and just the tiniest little dot will do. I did this just a couple days ago and I checked on them and they're staying just as creased as they did the day I did them. So they're staying nice and pretty. And just make sure you kind of jerk your glue gun, kind of swirl it a little bit so that you don't get those extra glue strands. But they did wipe off pretty easily. I think these are so pretty. You could do them in whatever color you'd like. But this was the color that Pottery Barn Teen had. And I won't make you watch me glue each and every one of them, but kind of showing you the different sizes and, you know, just continuing around. I have those dry erase dots as a little bit of a guide for my ball on, you know, continuing with that circle. Theirs was a square and mine's a rectangle. So if I wanted to, I could write her name at the bottom with a dry erase marker, could write a message to her each day, could put it on there with my Cricut if I wanted to. There's so many different things you could do with this, but this was a pretty dry erase board. But if you didn't have a dry erase board, I originally was going to use one of the square frames from the Dollar Tree and paint that white. So that would look pretty and then a nice piece of background paper. Now I'm just wiping off all of my red dots. They come off nice and easy. Didn't leave any streaking. And here it is. Oh, this would be adorable in any little girl's room. I do hope you're enjoying these look for less challenge items. All right, I got that big box for $5. It's 16 by 20. Theirs was 24.5 by 24.5 for $199. I think we did good. I do hope that you're enjoying these and will subscribe and let me know which one you like best. As you know, I've been playing with UV resin. It's really fun. I like the epoxy resin as well. And if I, when I do this again, I'll use epoxy resin because when you use one of these darker molds, the light doesn't totally get through. So I have to show you the trick that I did, but use a little bit of pigment, made these pink, but I think these butterflies are beautiful. I made a bunch extra that I can use in other projects this spring. 
but I'm going to make some earrings out of them. So I'll show you what I do here. I fill this up. Now it has so many little tiny ridges that you've got to kind of sit there and poke it with a toothpick to get in all of the little crevices. If you've been enjoying all these butterflies, I hope you've given me a thumbs up and you've subscribed. When you subscribe, hit that bell. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. I'd love to see you and I enjoy reading your comments and respond to each one. All right, I put this under the light for about 60 seconds and it's all set on top. Now I need to, I'm going to put it on a clear um, mold so that I can flip it over and the other side gets set. And now I'm just going to make the other earring while that one's setting. And there it is. How cute is that? Now I'm just going to take my drill and I put a little tumbling tower block underneath it. And I'm just going to drill right in the corner. I'm going to take a jump ring and just put that through it. Next, I will take the earring piece and put that on the jump ring. And then my battery dies. But that's okay. I'll show you on another one. Okay. So here we are. We've got the butterfly. We've got the jump ring. We're just going to put that on there. Then we're going to straighten the jump ring. And there we are. A set of earrings. Wouldn't that be cute for any little girl, I guess, or lady that likes, likes butterflies? Aren't those pretty? Such details. Thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you've liked, commented, subscribed. Here's a couple other videos you might enjoy. Don't forget to take some time to just decompress and craft just a little bit of time for you. Have a blessed day.